Hey, what up, Cook students? So super pumped um, to bring a devotional to you today. But first, I've got a few announcements um, for you. Um, don't forget today at 3, uh, we are doing a Zoom hangout. And so uh, if you want to be a part of that, I'll send the Zoom link out in GroupMe. Download Zoom on your computer or your phone ahead of time. Uh, remember that on your computer, um, you could see everybody at one time. On your phone, you're going to have to swipe to see people's faces. Uh, only a certain number will show up on your screen at one time. Uh, so it's always better on the computer if you have a webcam uh, on your laptop or something um, to utilize that way. Um, also, Sunday morning, uh, we'll be doing a Zoom Connect group um, together. And so I'm looking forward to that, just opening up God's Word um, together and just seeing what God has for us through that. And then Sunday morning at 1015, uh, we're going to live stream our service. And so you can watch that uh, with your family and then we're going to live stream it again at six o'clock that night so if you have any problems with it that morning you can watch the live stream again that night uh, if you miss it on sunday morning also on sunday um, you uh, your family uh, your parents will be getting emails uh, concerning something called right now media and so right now media uh, has tons of resources and bible studies and things like that um, videos and things that you can utilize there at home it's free to you guys that our church is offering um, our members uh, during this time and, and hopefully beyond this time as well and so super excited about that um, you know we, we've been talking about how, how Jesus is faithful and and you know we, um, just discussing that and so this morning in my devotional I was reading you know that God is faithful and so I wanted to remind us of that again um, but also just to share something else you know um, God is perfectly faithful and we can know that and we can trust in that um, that God will just do what he says he's going to do. Um, he never fails us. He never, <clears throat> you know, says anything opposite of his character. Uh, he is just perfectly faithful. Uh, Joshua in um, the book of Joshua in chapter 23 and verse 14 wrote this. He says, now I'm about to go the way of all the earth. And you know, in your hearts and souls, all of you, that not one word has failed of all the good things that the Lord your God promised concerning you. All have come to pass for you. Not one of them has failed. Joshua is speaking to the Israelites and he's saying, look, you know what God has promised, you know, and all have come to pass, pass, right? Not one of them has failed. So Joshua is telling these people, like, no matter what you're going through, no matter where you're going, what God has promised, God is going to carry you through it, right? And God is promised and he's going to carry through on his promises and we can know that and we can trust in that um, that we can count on God's faithfulness right to us to keep his promises but also is this is that you know one of those promises is that God promises to be with us in the tough times in Isaiah 43 2 it says when you pass through the waters I will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you when you walk through fire you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you Seems crazy, right? We know stories, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who were in the fiery furnace, and God um, kept them and sustained them in there, you know. Daniel and the lions did. All these Old Testament stories um, of God promising to keep his people safe, and he does, right? He, he carries through on those promises. And so for us today, man, we can trust in the promises of God. And so um, my prayer is, is that and that you are trusting in the promises of who God is and what God says that he is going to do. And that you're allowing him to sustain you and to keep you um, through this time and just every day from here on out for the rest of your life. That we will trust in a God who never fails us. All right? Hey, I love you guys. Um, can't wait to see you. And so I hope you're just diving into God's word, that you're using this time as a time of growth, and that God is just doing remarkable things in your life. Love you.